Winning rivalries is a great way to earn respect from your team and around the paddock, which will help make it easier to negotiate favorable contracts. Your first rival is always your teammate, but you can choose who to declare as your second. The harder the rival from the eligible selection, the more respect you stand to gain or lose depending on the result. Welcome to Melbourne and the inaugural event of the F1 2019 Championship season. The session is starting shortly and there's a real sense of anticipation in the air. A feeling that anything can happen this year and if it does, well this weekend could be the opening chapter to one of the most exciting F1 seasons ever. Joining me in the commentary box is of course Anthony Davidson and it's great to have you back again. What can you tell us about this year's roster? Uh, there are some new faces this year, aren't there? Absolutely, Crofty. There's been a number of interesting signings over the last few months. Where would you like to start? Let's talk about Blue. Right, well, this is definitely someone to keep an eye on. Well, they've been signed up likely in no small part due to the way they carried themselves in the Formula 2 Championship. They have a great track record of putting the team first. At one of the races, they even gave up their own position when their car had a technical issue so that their teammate, Lucas Weber, who also debuts here today, could get ahead that kind of team spirit could take them a long way this season. Those two aren't the only new faces from Formula 2 this season, are they? No, this season will introduce fans to George Russell and Lando Norris, two very promising young British drivers. Plus, we'll meet Alexander Albon from Thailand and finally Devon Butler. Now, Devon was a bit of a controversial figure in Formula 2 last year. He racked up a lot of penalties over the course of the season, including one where he collided with his closest rival. It was an arsy clip. Now, certainly after the event, they were nothing but professional in terms of how they spoke about the incident with Devon, but it's hard to imagine them being as polite about it behind closed doors. I think this rival will be one to keep an eye on over the next few races as both drivers take their first steps into the world of Formula One. This first race of the season is always quite difficult for us trackside and for those back at the factory as well as it's the first time the car has run since winter testing. The more consistent mileage you can get in these sessions, the happier we'll be. Final lap, this is the final lap of the programme. We're just about ready to kick off today's qualifying here in Melbourne. It's the Australian Grand Prix.
again. That's pretty disappointing, but we can turn it around tomorrow. And with qualifying complete, let's review our top three today. Hamilton, Bottas and Sebastian Vettel. With qualifying complete, all that remains is the main event. We'll be live and uninterrupted for the Grand Prix tomorrow, so make sure you join us then. New drivers, new cars, it's a new Formula One season. But it's the same Albert Park that we've come to know and love for more than two decades now, the place host to round one of a 21 race championship that takes us from here in Australia, across the globe, and the eventual season finale at the Yaz Island circuit in Abu Dhabi. Okay, be wary of the cars ahead breaking suddenly into one. We could ruin our race if we hit them. Good luck. The rest of the grid is forming up. Be patient and watch for the lights. Start was okay, now stay alert for threats around you. You're hitting the energy deployment limit and losing ERS power before the end of the lap. Lower the ERS deployment mode to prevent this. Okay, some information on Perez. They have an issue with their car. They're going to be slow. Be careful. We think you're going to start losing some tyre grip around now.
man is in the pits. Green flag, green flag, we're racing again. Understood, stopping this lap. Remember, box this lap. Keep an eye on your distance to the speed limit line as you approach and make sure you don't speed. Release. Okay, stay clear of the white line on the exit. We'll receive a penalty for dangerous driving if you cross over into the track.
This is your final lap, final lap of the race. There's only one lap of fuel remaining. job you did really well super driving yes another historic win under their belts well done to the team at Mercedes talk to me Ants. what was it that set them apart from the competition today I think a large part of the result comes down to temperament they were able to keep their heads when everyone around them was losing theirs and that's allowed them to get the best out of the car, to maximise the strategy, and to stay out of trouble. So after a magnificent race, we can now see the drivers making their way to the podium. Once again, it's the Silver Arrows who take top spot. A well-earned victory for Mercedes. Let's see how the driver's standings have changed. Valtteri Bottas passes his rival to take over the lead of the Drivers' Championship. After an incredible day of racing, who was your driver of the day, Ant? Kimi Raikkonen is my standout today. Nothing you could construe as showboating, just an incredibly consistent performance out on track. It's time to check out the Constructors' standings. Mercedes moved to the top of the table. I'm equal parts exhausted and elated with this weekend of Formula One. Be sure to join us for the next one. Good day today. Let's have your take on it. You and Devon weren't far apart by the end of the race. How evenly matched are you? You gained a lot of positions during the race, didn't you? You're breaking all expectations. What's your secret? It wasn't the cleanest race today, was it? Appreciate your time. <laughs> 